Hello and welcome to part four, dating again. Narcissist is gone, abuser is gone, you're ready to start a new relationship. Maybe you've met him, maybe you're about to meet him. These tips will help you a lot, I believe. All right, so the tendency of bringing up your past and throwing it in your face. Let's talk about that. It is always a good idea to be able to talk about the past, present, and future with the significant other that you're with. Girlfriend, boyfriend, future husband, future wife, whatever. What is not okay is when you take the past of somebody, boyfriend, girlfriend, and throw that up in their face and use it as a weapon by saying, well, yeah, but remember when you did such and such, or I remember that you said this to her, and that's not good. Using it as a punishment, using it as a vendetta, um, a guilt trip thing, no, not cool at all. Let it go, move on from it. If it's that bad that they had a past that really hurt you, then you don't belong with them in the first place, basically. Okay, so no using the past like that. The next thing is, um, having that you owe me attitude is never okay. It's childish, it's abusive. You don't do something for someone to later on require something of them. If you have that kind of relationship, like in a really unhealthy sense of it, you, it's okay to do something and want reciprocal action. I get that. But I'm talking about, well, I stood by you as you got your college degree, so now I want you to do this for me, that type of attitude. Or, you know, I took you where you wanted to go, so why won't you say what I want you to say to my best friend? Or it, whatever it is. Whatever kind of squirrely, weird, crazy, manipulative garbage that your significant other wants you to do. And they're using it as, you owe me because I did this for you or that for you. Not good, not okay, not acceptable. Red flag. Okay, also the attitude of, I did this for you, I paid for that, or whatever, so you better, you know, make this something that's going to be really special for me. You better really show me up tonight at that dinner dance. You better dress to the hilt so that my family thinks that I'm really marrying into money. No. Wrong. Red flag. Move on. Okay. When the person you're talking to, you may just be meeting them, they don't let you talk. They don't listen. They keep talking over you. You don't get a chance to share anything. Head out the door, like, right away. For one thing, it's very irritating to try to keep fighting for a spot to be heard. You certainly do not want to hook up with that or marry into it, where you're just vying for this uh, talk space, I guess you could say. It's not cool. And if they're doing that, they're trying to dominate the conversation, they may try to dominate you in other ways, and that won't be good either. Very abusive. When you feel afraid to talk and speak up and give your opinions, and especially, and listen to this carefully, if you are afraid to disagree with the person that you're with, there is a real problem there. A real problem. You should feel free to have an opinion of your own with anybody. And if they make you feel bad or guilt you or try to control you or try to make you think the way they think, that is not good. Another red flag there. Oh, the next thing, and I actually ran into this with Anita. When I first met her, she told me how everybody misunderstood her, everybody hurt her, everybody was so mean. Nobody stuck by her. Nobody got her. All that kind of stuff. It was never her. It was all everybody else misunderstands me. Nobody really appreciates me. Um, that blaming of other people like that, everything was always because they didn't get me, because they didn't understand me, because they didn't want to be with me. Start kind of really listening. If that happens a lot, that is definitely your ticket out. You do not want to be with somebody that blames everybody else for the breakup of the relationship. Because guess what? You will be next. You will be the reason why the relationship ended and they will put it all on you. Okay, stay tuned.
Thanks.